So what we're going to be looking at today is being able to find the mean and standard deviation from your calculator. Um, so I've got a couple of examples here just to make sure we can all do it correctly. So what we're doing is finding the mean set of wages. So I'm going to get my calculator up. Here it is. And we're going to go through from the beginning of getting this onto statistics mode. So we go mode. I'm not sure why this is mode. And we're doing one. Oh, sorry, two for statistics, I should say, and we want one variable, so we press one, and then we press equals. And we don't need to press equals. Now we're going to put our numbers in, so we're doing 370 first, 370, and then you press equals, and then we want 490, and we press equals, 600, press equals, and so on and so on. So now you can see I've put all of the numbers in and down the side is how many I've got, eight, and we know we had eight labourers, so we know we've done everything correctly. So now we just press the all clear button and we go shift one for statistics and we put it four for the variables and obviously I press the button too many times, shift one, four for the variables and we want number two because what we want is the X bar, press equals, and you can see the mean wage is 505. Now, also now we need to find the standard deviation, so you can press all clear again. Shift, one, four for the variables, and standard deviation is that button number three, sigma X. And we press equals, and you can see we get 108.28. So we are definitely on the right track. Now, for this next one, what we're looking at is we've now got a frequency distribution table and once again we're asked to find the mean and standard deviation. So, if we think about it, we can get our calculators up. Now, what we have to do is we have to now go Shift 1 and you press the down arrow and you want 3 for statistics and now you want your frequency table on. So, you press 1 to get your frequency on. So now when we put it into statistics mode, one variable, we should come up with our two, our x, our score, and our frequency, which is what we have in this table here. So now you can see we've got the numbers in our x column from 0 to 5, so we can place them in from 0 to 5, so 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so you just press equals each time. And now to go back up, I like to go back to the beginning so I know that I'm not missing any scores. I'm going to my frequency column by moving the, the cross arrow. And now you can enter the data. So we have 8, press equals, 11 equals, 5 equals, 4 equals, 2 equals, 1 equals. And now you can see you have all of the data in. So once we've done that, we just clear it again. And it's exactly the same as before. We go shift, one for statistics, four for variable, and two because we're trying to find the mean. And there we go, we've got a mean of 1.483. So let's see if we can write that down. I have not been that organized in getting my notes up here. So you can see from our calculator, let me get it back up. What we have is our number 1.48, I think it was, something along those lines. And then to find the standard deviation, we can press clear again, shift, 1, 4, and we want number 3 for our standard deviation, press equals, and you can see we get something like 1.34, something along those lines. And that's as simple as it is. So we've got some more data here, which is to find the range, interquartile range, and standard deviation. I'm going to leave that up to you to have a go at doing, and you can find out the answers in class.